Welcome to Numbers Don't Lie, where we are overreacting to every good summer league performance. Today, we're breaking down the math behind winning your auction league. But first, what's an auction league? In an auction league, every team gets an equal, imaginary budget to build their roster through a draft. Instead of a snake draft where you pick in a set order, players are nominated one by one and are bid on in an auction. There's no more getting sniped by Kevin two picks before your turn in your snake draft. Now you'll get a chance to draft any player you want. But is the format right for you? Auction leagues are great because A, it's the fairest way to play fantasy basketball since it gives everyone an equal chance of drafting any player. B, you don't have to wait a long time between picks. C, it brings more strategy into play. Do you spend all of your budget trying to make Jokic and Shea work or do you go for more of a balanced approach? D, it rewards those who are prepared, unlike snake drafts, where you can draft off of a set of rankings and still end up with a good team. Auction league success comes down to being patient and going into the draft prepared. It's more fun. The constant bidding, scheming, and maneuvering makes for a more entertaining draft room. But there are some downsides. A, it's time consuming. A snake draft can be wrapped up in an hour, but an auction draft can take double that as every player is bid on individually. B, due to the added complexity, it's not beginner friendly. You have to build a team and manage a budget, which requires your constant attention. C, there's a bigger risk of making a mistake. Overspending on the wrong players can drain your budget and ruin your entire draft with no easy way to recover. D, it's challenging to practice in mock draft since every auction draft is different and is entirely dependent on the people in your league. So here are some tips heading into an auction draft. Be aware of a player's value. More to come on that one. Be patient. The start of the draft is often where teams overspend on players. Don't be afraid to let the big names go for inflated prices, but be aware of where you can get them at good value. Don't get into bidding wars on big names. If you know Kevin is a big Anthony Edwards fan, know that you won't get him at good value. Let Kevin burn the budget on that one. Make sure you keep enough of your budget for the end of the draft. Having three to five dollars per player when other players only have a dollar allows you to lock in an end of draft bargain when everybody else is out of their budget. Nominate players you don't want early to help drain everybody else's budget. Make your draft easier to manage with the auction mode draft tracker on hashtag basketball. So now that I've talked you into joining an auction league, let's talk about how you can win it. You don't have to be Magic Johnson to know that the aim of your draft is to finish with a better group of players than the other teams in your league. We do that in auction leagues by managing our budget better than everybody else and making sure we get more value out of our picks. To understand how to do that, we need to know how player value is calculated and assigned a dollar amount. To understand how to do that, we need to know how player value is calculated and assigned a dollar amount. First, let's look at how player value is calculated. We calculate a player's total value score by adding the Z scores from each individual category used in your league. But what's a Z score? A Z score tells you how many standard deviations a data point is from the average of its data set. It's a way to standardize scores on a common scale. This tells us how much better or worse a player is across different categories compared to other players in the league. This season, we're projecting Shea Gilgis Alexander to average 32.1 points, which when compared to players in the league, gives him a Z score of 3.08 for the points category. We also have different ranking types available to calculate a player's total value. 
standard is the formula that calculates rankings based on your selected categories and weighting. Head to head is the same as standard, except it puts a floor on how low a negative category can go, which is set to negative two. Minus one is the same as standard, except it removes the player's worst category. For this exercise, let's use the default nine cat scoring and head to head ranking type on a fictional player. Let's call him Shay and assign him a Z score of 15.99. Now let's assign them a dollar value. It's important to know that this isn't what we recommend bidding on a player. There is no way to control what people will bid in your draft. It's just what we consider them valued at compared to the other players in the league. To start assigning Shay a dollar value, we need to find the replacement level zero score. To do this, we find the number of players that are going to be drafted in your league. We can do this with some simple math, the number of teams times roster spots for each team. For a 12 team league with 13 players on each team, we have 156 players drafted. For this exercise, the 156 player is the replacement level Z score and has a total Z score of minus 142. Since the 156 player is replaceable, we have them and anybody ranked below them valued at $0. Now we need to assign the top 155 players a dollar value. But first, we need to get a divided by score amount. We get this by subtracting the replacement level Z score, minus 1.42, from all of the top 155 players total Z scores and add them together. The total Z score minus the replacement level Z score added together for every top 155 player is 615.55. Still with us? Now it's time to calculate a player's dollar value. We have their Z score, which is 15.99, the replacement level Z score, which is minus 1.42, the number of teams, which is 12, the budget per team, $200, and the divided by score, which is 615.55. And run it over with this formula. The player's Z score minus the player's replacement level Z score times the number of teams times the budget per team divided by the divided by score, which for our example is 15.99 minus minus 1.42 times 12 times 200 divided by 615.55, giving them a dollar value of 67.9. Now let's look at some common auction draft strategies. Studs and duds is a high risk, high reward strategy focused on drafting as much elite top 10 talent with 60 to 80% of your budget and filling out the rest of your roster with cheap late round and replacement level players. The benefit of this approach is that pairing multiple top 10 players gives you the elite production if they can stay healthy. And it makes streaming easier since you have replacement level players ready to drop. The downside of this, a season ending injury to one of your top players can also end your fantasy season. And the lack of depth makes it difficult to win when your top players are going through slump or missing games. Now let's put together a roster using this approach based on Yahoo's average auction numbers. It starts by getting the top 10 players locked in. Let's get Shea Gildas Alexander at $79.8 and Carl Anthony Towns at 52.6. This leaves you with 67.6 to draft 11 players. For this approach to work, you need to nail a few dollar picks. Best case scenario, you get these guys for a dollar. Taylor Hendricks, Davian Mitchell, Jeremiah Grant, VJ Edgecombe, and Al Horford. I know this isn't normally how you draft, but we're building a fake team here, so we get to make up the rules. And with that, we have 62.6 to draft six players, so we'll fill out our roster with the following players. 
Zach Levine at 12.4, Kobe White at 11.5, DeAndre Ayton at 10.5, Peyton Pritchard at 10.4, Donovan Klingen at 7.1, and Jordan Poole at 9.7. Now let's look at the balanced approach. The balanced approach is a safer, more conservative strategy that aims to build a deep, competitive team from top to bottom. The plan is to never exceed $40 for any player and spread 60 to 80% of your budget across five to six players, making sure you're patient and drafting top 30 players when good value presents itself. The benefit of this approach is that balanced teams are deeper and can cover injuries and slumps. And you have the budget to draft more top 50 to 60 level talent than others in your league. The downside of it is that it lacks elite top end talent. And it can be harder to make early season waiver wire decisions because every player on your roster is a solid contributor. And our fake team based on Yahoo's average auction values looks like this, starting with our core group of top 50 players. We have Donovan Mitchell at 36.6, Evan Mobley at 37.4, Derek White at 24.8, Pascal Siakam at 27, Austin Reeves at 16.5, and Zach Levine at 12.4. We'll also add Kobe White at 11.5, Peyton Pritchard at 10.4, Donovan Klingen at 7.1, and Jordan Poole at 9.7 giving us $6.6 to secure our last three players, which are Herbert Jones at 2.8, Aaron A. Smith at 1.7, and Isaiah Jackson at 1.7. Putting team build and strategy aside, let's compare the total Z-score value of the players on each team. The studs and duds team comes in at 36.85, and the balance team comes in at 40.77. For reference, that difference is the value of two top 60 players. So which team would you rather have? Tell us in the comments.